In this video, we talk about Tana commands and how they can help us build our own overpowered workflow in Tana. This is a conversation with students of our comprehensive course, Tana One. Check the top link in the description to learn more. And with that said, we hope you enjoy this video. I like the way Nick, when you like going through the whole scaffolding, when you was building out the whole customer interface with the pets and the owners and everything. Pets, owners, what is going on? Okay, let me clear it up real quick. This is a mention of one of the sections in our course where Nick talks about this fictitious CRM example. And in this example that we demo through the course, it's all about a made up business that looks after the pets of people. So it's all about keeping track of who is the owner of which pet and keeping track of all of the customers in a really organized way. And that is what this conversation is referring to. When you were building out the whole customer interface with the pets and the owners and everything, I think that's something I will start to use first, kind of like use it as like that whole scratch pad, lay out everything that you want to do, plug it all in and kind of keep bouncing back at it as a checkoff list as you start building out the infrastructure. So you can always go back and play around with ideas of what you may want to do. And, and I remember going through the course, how you took certain things that you dragged over into the CIM system, and then you kind of converted it into what you wanted to use it for. That's kind of like my, my biggest takeaway from following you with the video so far. So probably likewise, with, as I go through with the commands, I'll look for that as well. Totally. Mm -hmm. Commands are an accelerant for what you're able to do with all of the other stuff that you've learned before commands. So, you know, whatever you're able to do with uh, search nodes and fields and everything, commands kind of supercharge that and allow you to just <laughs> go a little crazy. Yeah, I, I just can't summarize it better than you can build your own products in commands. Yeah, for sure. I mean, well, obviously one of the cool things about Tana is that you can have like all these different statuses, different fields and so on. But when you have commands, instead of having to do things so manually, instead of having to manually drag and drop things from one status to another, you can batch a bunch of things. You can move them across different places in your Tana. You can also set different status, different field, whatever you need. Like obviously it depends so heavily on the particular use case that you have, but it's automating things. I think, I think, yeah, seeing them as automation is probably the, the best way to see about it. And then on top of that, you can add AI. So that, that is what is so valuable about commands. Yeah, cool. Just thinking about, I have quite a lot of commands actually. And I also have some commands that use, I use with AI prompt. They're more like in, in the knowledge system. I like them. I played around a lot and, and tried out some commands, how they work and looked at others. So I'm, I'm a heavy user of a Slack channel actually to learn some uh, command hacks and stuff. So um, yeah, I, I, I love commands. Yeah use them a lot actually, especially in a task management system to like change statuses. It's way easier to do it with a command than just open every node and, you know, change the status and everything. So I, I like that. And I also build some stuff like only some commands are shown, but if you push like on one button, all the others come up and then, you know, so I, I kind of like that playing around. Yeah. Nice. That was clever. Like, did you say that you have commands that show you all the commands? Like they're hidden by default, but then once you press the yes. command, it expands all the commands. Yes. Yes. That's really yes. nice. Oh yeah, yeah. A command activates other other commands to be shown mm. in that particular uh context. Okay. Nice. I like that. I would I would love to have access to what Tana did in the the audio notes where you have that rewrite as you know and there's the drop down since they did it it must be possible they just uh haven't uh released it to end users yet but that's something that i'm looking forward to someday being able to use now okay, can you explain a little bit more of like you know what that would achieve just just to understand it better Concept Here, uh, yeah, yeah just so uh people just in case anyone isn't familiar with what i'm talking about yeah so if i zoom into this voice note it has the rewrite and uh there's the drop down with yes. different options mm -hmm. and that's something that to my knowledge we as end users are not able to do but i would love to be able to bundle and package commands like that it, that would be another option to solve the 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 skittles everywhere of commands you know uh, but also just being able to group related commands together like that as well and, and package them. Um, and yeah, what that would do would just be 
just lower the cognitive load, be able to uh, hide different commands between one uh, single group within a dropdown. Yeah. Can can you expand the dropdown just to see the options? So mm -hmm. we have rewrite, summary, pros and cons, article, and tweet. So what is so nice about this, and especially one of the advantages of using AI inside of Tana, is that you can have all of these pre-configured systems with commands. Like it's already possible, right? What Nick is describing here is even nicer because what if we can have a drop down of options? This, this like Nick said, like allows you to build your own apps, your own mini tools, your own like workflows using AI. This is almost like a library of AI prompts that you can store within commands. And once we're able to even organize them in a drop down, I think it's going to make things cleaner. But if anything, like this, this should open up the mind of like anyone watching, you know, anyone here and anyone watching the recording later being like, Wow. Okay. When when this clicks for you, like that's when you discover, like, okay, Tana is more a lot more than just a note taking app. It can be these this tool that I can build for myself, like an app within an app, right? You can build all these workflows, and you can use AI to have like pre-configured prompts essentially, and that is just a matter of clicking a button and it processes, right? You write something in the node itself, and then you give it an instruction by clicking the button of what do you want to do with that. Right? And and you should be able to do the same kind of node filtering for the options within these drop downs, I would imagine wow. as well. And so, yeah, whenever I see something like this, uh, where the, the Tana team clearly has access to this, but we don't yet, that gets me excited on one level because this thing is going to be coming. But on another level, I'm excited because if they're sharing this, that means that they have something else that's a step beyond that, that they're working on that's secret that we don't know about. And so I'm, I'm double excited when I see something like this then.